Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I have a quick unboxing of a, uh, a really interesting watch. Um, I'm going to hold off on saying anything else about it, I haven't actually seen it in person yet. But let's go ahead and jump into it, um, and it is in this box, which is too big to fit on camera. So I will get out the initial packaging, using the uh, Koenig Mini Goblin today if you're curious. Really like this knife, it was not meant to be a keeper, but it's going to be. Okay. Okay, so we had a couple boxes here. We have that one. This one here. And then a card, which I'm going to show you in just a second. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in this uh, this extra box here. Oh wow! <laughs> it's a uh, it's a flask. That's pretty cool. So yeah, if you if you order this a watch, by the way, which you probably if you seen the thumbnail, you know already. But um, if you order one of these, you do get a free flask with it. Um, this is I'm guessing this is the one here. Um, pretty cool actually. Um, if you're into knives, watches, flasks, this is you know kind of a a trifecta thing there. All right, let's go ahead and get into the main uh, package, which is right here. I'm just going to open this up. Alright, and here we have the watch box. On the front it says Sharp Bros, um, Embrace a Rebel Against Seven Sins. This is the Sharp Bros Seven Sins watch. Um, it has their Instagram and Facebook here, which I will go ahead and link below along with the website. And then all the specs, which I know are slightly out of focus. It's just a little close to my camera. Um, automatic movement, double dome sapphire, Luma Bright Loom, screw down crown, 1,000 feet water resistance, 300 meters, 120 click bezel, and a sends window. So that replaces the day date function. I'll show you that in just a moment. And then their website, which again will be linked down in the description below. Let's go ahead and open up this box. And this is really cool. It has the little dagger motif printed all over it. So open it up. And we have uh, quite a bit of stuff in here, actually. Um, so here's the watch, I'm guessing. That is a really, really cool uh, package there. And then you get some uh, some other cool stuff. So you have a spring bar removal tool, a um, bracelet adjuster, and a flathead screwdriver. And then also they included a couple of stickers and uh, a pin as well. So you get you get quite a lot here for your money. So so far um, there's a watch, stickers, watch adjustment tools, and a flask, and we. Have you even looked at the watch yet? Um, so really cool case. Um, it's obviously, you know, kind of tailor made for this watch to some degree. Um, you know, custom zipper here, the Sharp Bros logo, and that's it's not like, it's it's not printed. That's like a 3D, which is a cool little touch. Let's go and open it up though and take a look here. So we have a little booklet, which we'll set to the side for now. And this comes with two straps. It comes with a uh, black bracelet, as well as a black and red NATO, which looks amazing on this watch. So here it is. So this is, uh, again, the Sharp Bros 7 Sins, if you're wondering about the exact model. Um, immediately, first thing you're going to notice are probably the 7 Sins font, which is huge. Not a massive fan of that, but it's there, and I don't mind it too much. The hands are crazy on this. This is... So th this aesthetic may not be exactly what I what I go for all the time, gonna be honest, but this looks awesome. Like these hands look freaking spectacular. It's that's crazy. I'll often include a uh, a macro shot of that. Um, red second hand, and then you'll notice there it says pride instead of a day or date, um, and you have those those functions there. So if I pop out the oh it's a screw down. That's right. Let's see. So pop that out, should be able to adjust that. So pride, envy, wrath, 
sloth, and it has doubles of each. And that's because this is a uh, Seiko NH35 movement that it has that uh, data wheel. So, uh, a couple of things I'm noticing right off the bat. The indice of the 12 is the dagger. The indice of the 6 is a red indice. It looks really, really cool. You have a partial red, partial white bezel here, and it does appear to be ceramic. It looks really, really nice. I love the flat black dial, and those are applied to indices except for the sword. That one's printed. Uh, printed logo, printed automatic sapphire, and uh, the screw down crown. I'm going to pop it out here, and uh, yeah, so that looks that's awesome. Going to line that up. <laughs> um, so just winding the movement feels really, really good. Um, I really like the Seiko NH35. It's probably my favorite movement out of any of the movements that I've tried, to be honest. So that's that's really nice. Um, okay, so I'll show you the, the case back here as well. Um, it just has the Sharp Rose logo and then the uh, little dagger. Um, first thing I noticed, uh, press clasp, which is not amazing. Um, at this price, you know, it's kind of up for, with all this extra stuff they've included, I, I wouldn't expect a, a milled clasp, but it's not that bad. Um, it does have the Sharp Bros, uh, name written there. There we go. And then just lift a pop. So it's not my favorite clasp I've ever tried for sure already. I'm kind of iffy about it. Um, but... It's not bad. I've seen much, much worse. So I will get this sized up for uh, my wrist and, and wear it for quite a bit. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to wear nothing but this for a couple weeks and go ahead and get you guys a review. This is on loan um, from Sharp Bros. So huge thank you to those guys over there. Um, and it's, it's a very unique watch, which is why I wanted to take a look at it. I review a lot of knives on this channel. I review some watches on this channel. It's kind of an amalgamation of the two, uh, to a degree. So I'm, I'm really interested in checking it out. And the aesthetic is very, very unique. So I'm going to check it out on the bracelet. I'll try the NATO strap for sure. This is a really nice NATO, by the way. This is probably the softest NATO strap I've ever felt in my life. Like, it's crazy. It's it's really, really nice. I'm really excited for that, actually. Um, but yeah, so I will have a review out in a couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for that. I will leave their social media and website linked down below. And if you have any questions about this watch, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them directly or in the follow-up video, the actual review. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. If you have any questions about the watch or anything like that that I can't answer, you can always contact Sharp Rose. I'm sure they can help you out. Thanks, guys. Bye.